all right guys welcome back and this is day 24 and uh, on day 23 what we did was we added this list box and we added the functionality that is going to help us add elements or music to our playlist uh, inside a playlist box so in this video we are going to be learning how to actually play these files so if we click on a file and then we click on the play button it's going to play that music uh, right now it, this doesn't uh, it might play the music that you loaded the last time but it's not always going to play the music that you select and when we and then you click on play because we haven't implemented that yet so what we are going to do is we are going to create a, a new playlist not a new playlist just a list and we are going to call that a playlist but before that i just want to change the name of this variable which is called the file name so this variable isn't actually file name. It doesn't contain the f just the file name. It contains the file name and the path of the file. Uh, the file name is actually this variable f, which just contains the file name. So this f variable actually contains piano.mp3 and this file name variable currently contains the whole path that is it is in C drive and uh, then it contains the file name also. So just because it's very confusing uh, for this video and for the future videos, and when you look back after maybe like six months or a couple of months, if you look back at the code, it's going to be really confusing. So I'm just going to go to refactor and rename this variable. So I'm just going to call it file name underscore path. And we are going to refactor it from everywhere. And then this F, I'm going to be refactoring it to file name. I know this is a little bit different. Uh, you, you'll have to adjust your eyes maybe to a different uh, variable name but this is like one of the things in coding you have to you have to be very adaptable to new things so i'm not afraid of changing the file names or the variable names just because i messed it up in the previous videos or in the previous code so i'm just going to rename it to file name now we know that this file name path actually contains the path and the file name all right so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new list and we're going to call that new list a playlist and we're just going to initialize an empty playlist. After that, you're just going to, what you're going to do is we're going to write playlist.insert and uh, it requires the same parameters that is the index and the file name. So I'm just going to write index comma file name, not, not anything too complex, but before we actually, why do we, uh, why do we even need to insert, uh, the file name not the file name actually this should be file name underscore path yeah why do we even need to insert items inside this playlist uh, so the reason is that when we go under our playlist underscore music function when it loads a file it actually requires the whole path and the file name that is the file name underscore path variable which we are not adding inside our uh, inside a list box so if we go over here where is our yeah over here in add to playlist inside a list box we are just adding these names that is piano.mp3 and journey.wave uh, we are not adding the whole path to the file name that is why we need to create this playlist and we need to add these uh, file name paths at the exact index which at which we are adding these uh, items inside a list box so let me just add a comment over here so that you guys remember what this uh, playlist is for so I'm just going to write playlist. Uh, it contains the full path plus the file name and uh, playlist box. It contains just the file name. And let me just add another comment as to why this uh, full path is required. Full path plus uh, file name is required to play the music inside play underscore music function and let me just add maybe load function all right so this looks good we have added some stuff uh, typo is fine no need to rectify that because it's just in comments it doesn't even matter all right, so we have added items inside our playlist. Let's actually print out this playlist and uh, see how our playlist looks. So let's go to load, let's go to run, click on reload, and let's add our first music file. And by the way, if you're wondering where is the you know, IC fire music, I, I was worried about the copyright thing, so I, I, I thought better of it, and I removed uh, it from our future videos. 
which are not that much remaining like six maybe six videos are remaining so it's not that much for big d but i just wanted to make sure so instead of that i've added this uh, cool piano music but anyways let's add it over here and now you can see it contains the full path or playlist and then if we add it again uh, let's add journey.wave now it contains two items it contains journey.wave and it contains piano.mp3 instead of that let's actually also print out the playlist box what can what the playlist box contains actually i don't think i need to print it because you can already see what playlist box contains over here playlist box contains these two items and playlist uh, array or playlist list contains these two items so what we're going to do is we are going to go down and let's just remove this uh, print over here because we don't need it just format this properly mm, all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our play underscore music function which is responsible for mu playing the music so now when we select it and when we press on this play button how do we identify which of these files are selected that is done by something known as a cur cur selection function this is one of the functions of the list box so what we are going to do is inside this try uh, try condition you're just going to write selected underscore song and then we are going to write uh, the name of the list box which is in our case is playlist box and then we are going to write cur selection and this is going to give us the song that is selected let me actually just uh, comment all of this stuff out so we can just focus on what is important so let's print out this selected song and see what kind of uh, value it gives us so let's reload it and when we add uh, let's say johnny.wave and click on play as you can see it's empty right now because we haven't selected johnny.wave when we select johnny.wave and then click on play it gives us a value of zero inside the tuple tuple is just kind of a list which has a lot of values inside it uh, so it gives us a value of zero now let's say we add another file that is piano.mp3 and then we select piano.mp3 and click on this play button as you can see because this is the first item inside our list box so this is on the zeroth index that is why it prints out zero now when we click on journey.wave instead of giving us the zero it is going to give us one so as uh, we keep on adding stuff inside it the the latest file that is going to be added is always going to go to the zeroth index so this piano.mp3 right now is in the zeroth index and this journey.wave is in the first index all right so now that we have gotten this out of the way we need the this actual number zero or one so what we are going to do is we are just going to write a selected song and inside this we are just going to get the first element of this uh, list and what we need to do is we will need to convert it into an integer because it's not into an integer right now so we are going to type cast it to an integer and let's just save it inside the variable selected song so now our selected song if we reload it, it is going to give us an actual number instead of the tuple so journey.wave select it click on play and now it's going to give us an actual number which is important to execute or uh, play the file because we will be using this index to actually get the file name or the full file name path from our playlist playlist uh, list so what we are going to do is this uh, over here our file has actually become pretty big so it's getting a little bit hard to identify where is everything but it's not it's not uh, it's not that big to be honest because i've created much more bigger files um, and we have created a lot of functions so it's very easier to understand where different parts of different things are anyways inside this uh, we have got it the selected song uh, integer or the index so we are going to use this index and we are going to create a variable let's call it play it and then we are going to get the index uh, we are going to get the full path and the name file name from the from the playlist basically so i'm just going to write selected song over here selected song and now let's uh, print out this playlist and see uh, what not play underscore music play it and now let's see what this play underscore it variable contains so what we have done exactly over here is we have taken the index inside a selected song and then we have said hey get me the song from this playlist and get me the song that is of that uh, index of the selected song index 
and make sure you save all of the full path and the file name inside this variable of play underscore it. So let's reload it. I'm just going to add uh, both of our file names piano.mp3 and now when we click on piano.mp3 and click on play it gives us the full path of piano.mp3 and when we click on journey.wave and click on play it gives us the full path of journey.wave so now it's pretty easy we just need to load uh, we can just uh, uncomment these two lines and let me just remove the print statement and now we can just put in play underscore it inside our load function and this is going to uh, just play the music that we want so let's actually check it out if it actually works or not so let's go on add journey.wave let's also add piano.mp3 and i've commented the status bar and the show details out right now because they're not gonna work uh, they are going to give you some kind of an error or they are going to give you not an error just an unexpected result which uh, we have to fix. So we are just focusing on playing the music and making sure that the correct music is being played when we are selecting the respective music. Alright so we are going to select piano.mp3 and when we click on play the music should start playing. And now when we click on journey.wave and click on play, the journey.wave should start playing. Alright, so now we know that both of these files are working and our play underscore functionality is working. So let me just check out the time and see if we have, uh, should we fix it in this video or in the next video. Actually, let's uh, fix it in the next video because this video is about 10 minutes, which I which is like the perfect time I want this video to be. So we're going to fix the status bar and the show details in the next video. What I want you to do for uh, maybe the homework of this video is maybe un uncomment both of them and see what is happening, what kind of errors you are getting and what kind of unexpected results you are getting from the output and try to fix them yourself. Um, I mean, you're a programmer, you have already gone through day or uh, this is day 24, 24 days of programming. So try to figure out on your own. If you can't figure it out, don't worry about it. We are going to handle it in the next video. That is day 25. Uh, let me just go through a quick recap of what we did in this video. So first we change the name of uh, this file name path uh, because this uh, contains the full file name plus the path and this contains only the file name for example piano.mp3. Then what we did was uh, we created a playlist, an empty playlist. This is just an array or a list and we just initialize it over here and then over here we added the song or the full file name path inside this playlist just like in the playlist box, it's literally the same thing. And we added them to the same index so that when we play the music, uh, we can know at what index it should be played. And then we went down to our play underscore music function over here. And inside this, we use the CUR selection method or the function to get what is the value of, uh, what is the value of the selection? Or what is the index of the selection that we are doing? If the if the file is at the first place, its index will always be zero and uh, so on. If it's on the second place, its index will be one, just like a particular array or a list that you know. But it was giving us a tuple and we wanted an integer to try and uh, retrieve the item from the playlist array. So what we did was we used typecasting and converted into an integer and then we used our playlist to get to retrieve the song and store it inside play underscore it. Then we just loaded the file and we played it. Uh, that was a quick recap guys. Uh, if you have any problems, make sure you uh, you comment wherever it's possible. Just, just contact me in any way possible because this might be a little bit confusing for some people. But anyways, I'll uh, see you on day 25. Peace out.